Welcome back. In this, we're going to be building an instant messenger with Django. Here's what the final product will look like. This is a really simple but powerful tool to know. As soon as you, after you've done this tutorial, you'll know how to build real time Django apps. So as soon as a change occurs in your database, you send it straight to the front end. Link to the written guide below. I'll also add a link to the deployed app so you can click around and test out this product after I've deployed it. So let's get into it. OK, so let's first set up Django and Daphne. We've got our project open here. I've just created an in virtual environment and then enter this into the terminal. OK, and now you can see your app is pops up there. And now we're going to add Daphne and register our app called Sim into our uninstalled apps. Go down to core and then installed apps. We want to add Daphne at the top. This integrates it into Django and then Sim we can add anywhere. We'll just add at the bottom. And now we want to add this line to set ASGI. That's the asynchronous part anywhere in here. So let's just chuck it in there. Next section, let's add async and sync Django views. Go to sim and then go to our views.py and then we're going to paste this in. I'll explain this in a second. Let's paste that in. Just I'll just show you there. So this, these are, as you can see, I've added type hints there, which are optional in Python if you don't know about them, but really worthwhile because they add nice documentation and warnings. So you can see these, these take requests and give normal synchronous requests and render our templates that we'll create. And then this one here streams our chat messages and takes a request and then streams a response back. Okay, next section. Section three, let's add URLs for async views. So go to sim URLs, which we'll need to create here, urls.py in sim, and then paste that in. And these are gonna be our different view, connecting to our different views. And then update the core URLs to route to our sim app here. Paste that in so you see that's cool. Now section four, we're going to add our templates, which will set up an event source to receive the server sent events. So let's go down and copy this. So we're going to create two templates. So create a templates folder and then put chat.html into it. So in sim, create templates and then create chat.html, paste that in. And then we create a lobby as well here. And so go down and copy this and then create another HTML file here in our templates folder called lobby.html and paste that in. So this is quite simple, this lobby, and you can just see that's sending. But then the chat is more interesting because we have some Alpine JS here, which you might not know about. It's really easy to use, and there's, um, I'll add a card to one of my videos on that, but don't worry about it. It's essentially a really nice way to handle JavaScript. And then here is our event source. So whenever we load the page, we will then run this function, which sets up a, an event source and then connects to this part, this URL, which is here, stream chat messages, which connects to this view, which is our asynchronous view, which then uses this to stream our event stream, which is here, which then calls some of these other smaller functions to get the, all the existing messages when a user logs on, and then get the last ID, and then continually check from that last ID to see if there are any more new messages. When the user wants to send a new message, they have this form here with using our Alpine.js, and then they will have this text area and this to send, and then when they press send, we then send a form with that text area to this endpoint on create message here in our create message view. Here, so we go to our create message view here, and then to create message view there, which then simply updates the database by creating a new message based on that content. And then while it's running, this streaming chat will then be running and will detect that there's a new message and then send that using the method that I've just described. So that's how it works and quite neat. Okay, let's create our models to store that data. So go and just create models here, pasting what we've done. And then we run our migrations to create the database. And that should run. And you can see the little database should pop up, SQLite, it's the built-in one. And now run our server. And you can see it says ASGI Daphne. That's great, because that's fully integrated. Daphne is amazing. And now we can go and visit it. And there it is. And to our chat name, uh, let's say John, Josh. And there you go. As you can see, it's quite ugly right now. Let's just say, hello. Great, so it's working. And 
if we were to create a new session here, so we come and call this Peter, let's say, create Peter here, and you can see there's a message there already from Josh, and P Pert is here, and send something, hi hey, Josh, and then we go back, you can see this is updated, so it's working, fantastic, so you've done it, you've set up a real time, whenever we're changing that database, it's then sending the message to the connected front ends, awesome. Uh, let's add a little more styling just to make this look nicer. So we'll, this contains all the styling, we'll just copy it all in and then paste it back over lobby, back over chat, paste it over and now we refresh and there you go, all styled. As you can see, this is really powerful to do and really nice and we do another test there. So let's, or let's say time to rock and roll and you can see, there it is, all done. As you can see, this is quite simple to add, but really powerful. I hope you enjoyed it. Link to my mailing list for my product to build Django front end even faster. It's called Photon Designer. Besides that, I'm producing more Django content every week. Here are some more videos. All the best to you.